Hello, Internet. Brandon and Covey from NerdLocker.com here, and we have more guests. Do you want to guess? Do you want to guess? I think they know. I think they saw the title for this video. Marvel so. Movie News. I forgot about this I'm just going to say, I know you guys aren't dumb. <laughs> Brandon. Apparently, I'm just Anyways. Dumb. Uh, not, not a lot of news. The last couple of weeks that we've had a lot of news. Uh, this is surprising. Definitely surprising, but not like, in a bad way. Really? Like, I, that's how I feel, but I'm not like disappointed in it. Like, like I was with Ben they're Affleck paying, They're paying for one of these, but they're not even using it. Yeah. Uh, Bradley uh, Cooper. Bradley Cooper, yeah. Is the voice of Rock Raccoon. Which is cool. It totally. It is cool, but I thought that too. I'm like, he's like... Sexy. He's like a, he's a Good -looking handsome man. man. So, yeah, he's a sexy guy, and they're like not. He's gonna be a raccoon, a raccoon. <laughs> an animated raccoon, which is cool. I mean, he's a badass Still, raccoon, yeah. and he like has guns, and he's totally cool in it. And I think Bradley Cooper can pull that, you know, attitude. I have no and, doubt that like he can act it totally. I have no doubt. Is I just wish he was actually is. like acting it. <laughs> yeah, I've no like doubt. I want him to be the actor in it, not I, I Rocket no Raccoon. I have no doubt any of his abilities yeah. to do this, but it's just like he's such a face. Mm -hmm. That they're not using it is, so weird. Hey, you know what? That's just so Whatever, weird. Marvel, you haven't done wrong yet. And speaking of casting news for Marvel, James Spader is going to play Ultron in Avengers Age of Ultron. Yeah, we were really wrong last week. Um, it was really just kind of like rumors at that point. But it's well sounded. It sounded really good. And it, like, it could have made sense. But I mean, either it's way. It's not that it's totally out yet, but I just... I, you know what? I, I think that's a good... James Spader's the last person I would pick, or that I picked in my head as a villain in an action movie, especially mm. one with superpowers and all this stuff, I mean, where he's gonna have to be like fighting. Eighties team romant romantic comedy. He's totally the best bad guy for that. But like Marvel. But movies? I'm still okay with this. I'm still. I mean, no, he's, he's an great. amazing actor. James Spader's awesome, and the fact that he can do the, like this really creepy menacing, and then he's being Ultron. Like that's perfect because yeah. he can totally just be like. Uh, you're the worst I think he's going to be horrifying. I think yeah. he's going to be absolutely terrifying. horrifying as Ultron. So, odd news for Marvel, but not necessarily bad. I'm totally okay with both of these. I wonder if uh, Robert Downey Jr. and James Spader need to be separated. <laughs> or else they just party Did you much. see that? Someone took the picture of that? Yeah. That's I think I showed it to you. You didn't. Anyways, uh, <laughs> elements of Iron Man 3 are going to be used, potentially used, to create Ultron in Age of Ultron. So this is kind of spoilers, you want to move ahead as we go into details here. If you don't want to know about this, starting now. But uh, as we all know, at the end of Iron Man 3, uh, Tony Stark gets the arc reactor, arc reactor removed from his chest, and uh, they're just saying that is going to play a part of Ultron becoming Ultron. I still haven't seen Iron Man 3. Well, it's out on DVD in like two weeks, so... But that's not now, so thanks for ruining that for me. Yeah, but you were here. But anyways, you were, anyways... We were on the subject, we have to... Anyways... How did you not see Iron Man 3? Cause the... I know, anyways, actually, I know how, never mind. Uh, there, it's, it's exciting to see that like they're making everything really cohesive. They're making everything like, okay, like, yeah, that was an Iron Man 3, but they're trying to make a point that it's going to be... Playing into everything else. Yeah. I really, really, really like it that Marvel's doing that with almost all their movies. I hope they start like bringing stuff back from early stuff, like early like Iron Man. Iron Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we did get Mandarin, so that's cool. But yeah. Well, either way. Kind of, because you haven't seen Iron Man three well, yet, which is weird. Okay. Well, whatever. But uh. Anyway. Don't stop spoiling the movie for me. Go Jesus. see it. You, what? Never mind. <laughs> uh, just let us know what you guys think. This is awesome. <laughs> if you want to spoil the ending Iron Man 3 in the comments below, feel free to just let Cubby know what happens.